completely um, essentially um, use a different type of emitter. Mathematics. Of course, everything is revolved around a lot of mathematics. We uh, normally prove everything out. Uh, we've done a tremendous amount of empirical work, which means we do the lab work and everything gets, gets working. Uh, mathematical equations, vector transformations, graphic analysis, shapes, wave bodies, resonating wave frequencies, high voltage power radiation, high voltage oscillation are all dressed in other papers. In a white paper. White paper, excuse me. Now, why are we doing this? Uh, to go through that alone would probably be about a four to five hour thing. And um, we're not really uh, trying to address that here. Um, what we're trying to do is uh, address uh, a general knowledge of what we have and show people what we have. You know, uh, look, we have a we have a pod here. It has an antenna. We go about four feet. Uh, we have this connected to the ground. We can do it otherwise. We can do things um, a little better. We just refine some of the things and and work on. Them. Um, we're a growing company. We're looking for funding. We're looking to get going. So, um, but we do want to be quite upfront about what we have and what we don't have. Other applications. Um, we could get into many other applications for uh, also the, mu the muscles, the pods, collectors. Uh, we build steward tables for the government, robots for the government. Uh, many other applications. Uh, the power is so important to be able to transmit this power uh, economically, safely. Uh, where it doesn't cause any uh, damage to anyone or uh, interference with cell phones, um, earpieces, whatever. We have a demo where we set up uh, we have three people uh, and um, essentially we're talking on cell phones for portable phones and right within uh, very close proximity to, to the pods and collectors and we have not had any problems with that. Shouldn't have any problems with that. That, that should be completely different. Uh, of course, military applications, um, once again, I was trying to state that, um, you know, firm believer in the United States government. Um, we don't necessarily subscribe to military applications of our product. If one day they can be used for that and our government needs it, not a problem. But essentially, uh, we want to build a product to help people. Good product. Good, solid product. That's, that's what we really want to do. Uh, in conclusion, uh, what do we want to do? We're looking for funding, financing, uh, maybe do some licensing. Uh, we want to refine their prototypes, build more demo units into, like computers, lamps, and things like that. Uh, get ready for full manufacturing. Uh, of course, licensing and, and things like that. Um, I guess uh, I'd like to wind up a little bit with a question and answer here. Uh, have your patents been approved? No, they're, they're patent pending. We have some that are but our positive factors are patent pending. Um, when you did a search, did you find any similar inventions? No, we have not. Um, we've done quite a lot of searches on that. How many uh, years is uh, a patent good for your patent? It'd be 17 years. Um, we want to talk about the pod drawn energy, or the, excuse me, the collector drawn energy. Uh, this is a digital system along with this and why there's circuitry involved is if this collector is not using any power, that pot is shut off. That's a really nice feature. And will only produce as much power as needed. So if this doesn't need much power, one watt, it draw very little energy. Okay, if it's it's getting up to hundred watt and, and it's got to draw more power then the pot is is told to uh, spend more energy. And so really nice nice uh, features in it. Um, how can we turn this on? How can we turn a light on? Let's say that you have a collector built in a lamp. Well, you know those little things for the cars that you uh, that you turn turn your doors off and on with open them. You the same application. What's so nice about that is those little units we make to to turn the uh, lights on and off again will never ever have to be powered by anything because they'll they'll get their power from the pod when you, you turn them on. So essentially, you know, there's, there's no batteries, there's nothing involved in there. Maybe a battery uh, to keep uh, the energy just stored, but we charge that all the time. So essentially, 
uh, really nice little device that sits around wherever you can turn the lights on and do whatever you want to. Very nice product. Once again, we can build the collectors into light bulb. Tremendous, tremendous uh, feature. Uh, what will it cost to put together a demo unit? Well, other than what we have proof of concept to show someone, as far as a demo unit that uh, would go a little farther, the way we'd like to do it, um, we're looking for right around two hundred fifty-five, two hundred sixty thousand dollars to do that. It'd take us about four months. No, four months. What would we do? We would build the collectors into a number of products. Um, our technology is down. Our our R and D is finished. We have we have a lot involved in that. Um, number of years and been working very hard on this. So we're in really good shape when it comes to that. But we just need to refine things, distances, things like that. Uh, UL laboratories have talked about that a little bit. Have we talked to uh, local authorities regarding energies? No, we're going to uh, basically go with state and federal regulations regarding that. Uh, what's the smallest size, pot, smallest size a pot or collector can be? Can, a collector can be? We can put a collector in a cell phone. Uh, once again, it's the power thing. It draws very little power, so it can be quite small. Pots can be quite small. Very, very small devices. What's very small? One inch by one inch? Depends on what they have to push, what they have to uh, uh, power. Okay, um, licensing uh, depends what industry we're in. But typical licensing royalties may be 5 to 6% of gross product. Once again, we have to determine uh, if that's going to choke or if that's going to kill uh, the people pr producing that product. If it is, well, then we have to change, and we will. Quite flexible. I um, just want to let you know a little bit about, I started out designing muscles for amputees in 1984. Worked with the VA, didn't have much luck there. Went to NASA and the Army. They found it an arm. Uh, we've been doing uh, probably a lot of military products, onesies and twosies, um, you know, just in, in that realm. And what we want to do is with our positive collectors is go commercial. So what have we been doing since 1984? Uh, R&D, research, consulting, uh, military things, uh, becoming quite proficient at that. It's time now to break into a uh, commercial market. We'd like to do it with positive collectors. Um, gave a pretty good description of the pod and collectors, I believe. Uh, pulse wave energy. Um, how many watts can we produce from a collector? Uh, we could easily run uh, probably 1,400 horse motor from a collector. It's just a matter of size, placement, resonant frequencies, and a few things like that. So what I'd like to do is... Um, talk a little bit about a um, uh, little more uh, about muscles and, and what we have and what we've been doing. I'll just back up here just a little bit. Uh, this happens to be a, a quite large actuator. Uh, once again, nobody makes this polycarbonate actuator. Quite a nice product. Uh, we've uh, sold them to a number of universities. Uh, we don't have big sales in them, 